So everybody, I thought I'd have a little break from Mario 64, plus my Nintendo 64 is not set up, so I'd play something else and I've decided to go for Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo. And um, let's go on the options. I just want to go through it for the fun of it, so I'll go on easy mode. Um, I've done this game on Jedi before, which is the hardest uh, mode. And I did that when about when I was about ten, and I've since tried it. Now I'm older, and I actually can't even do it. So I don't know how I managed to do it when I was about ten years old, but I did somehow. So there you go, just like the movie, the scrolling Star Wars font. And out of all the Star Wars games that have come out, I think you know these the SNES trilogy of games um, based on the original movies. I don't, they're still my favourites, even though the other, even though game, more games have come out, um, a lot of them kind of took liberty with the franchise. I think, and they kind of expanded on Star Wars so much that it doesn't even feel like Star Wars. But even though things happen in this game that isn't in the movies, it didn't feel it doesn't feel too removed. It feels quite grounded to the movies pretty well. I mean, you know, in the film you don't even see a Sarlacc pit monster in A New Hope. And in this game there is one, but it seems acceptable. Anyway, I don't know if... I'm having trouble reading that crushed up font on the TV, so I don't know if you can actually even read that through there. And you might notice the camera's quite, you know, angled quite well. That's because I actually got a tripod um, out of a Christmas cracker, believe it or not. So yeah, the, the writing is all gone, so we can get stuck into the game pretty soon. And um, a lot of people, if you were to ask them about the prequels, what they think of them, a lot of people would say they, they think they're shit. If you were to ask me what I think about the prequels, um, I would actually also say that they're shit. I love the originals though, and well, that's why I'm playing a game based on the original. So yeah, there's a Star Destroyer. Just like the movie. I've not actually played this game for a long time. And if you play this game on Jedi or even Brave mode... What? Oh! <laughs> this this menu is not actually meant to pop up, by the way. It, this only comes up if you put some kind of cheating. Uh, and I haven't even put any cheating. Whatever. I don't know why that menu's popped up, but it has. Yeah, you're not actually supposed to be able to select who you like, it just starts you off as Luke normally. And I've resetted the game through the Virtual Console because I'm playing it on the Wii, and that, so I don't really get, get why the cheat menu popped up to select character. No big deal though. So yeah, this is the Dune Sea on Tatooine, Luke's own planet. We actually used to have this game, um, there's, there's an item that you can get for the Super Nintendo called a Super Wild Card, and basically you can back up all of your games onto floppy disks, yeah it's a quite outdated, and um, we had so many games on floppy disks that you played through the floppy disks on this appliance, um, and you could just play them on your SNES as if you had a cartridge in. And we had one for Super Star Wars, and I loved to play it, but um, I kind of feared whenever we got to the land of the Sand People, because there was an error on the disc, and sometimes the game would literally freeze. And it was a real pain in the ass, because to get to that level, you actually had to go through quite an annoying level beforehand, so I'd put all that hard work in just for the game to crash. Uh, and if you can't work out what those green things are, they're actually supposed to be Womp Rats. Luke mentions that he bullseyes them in his T-16 in one of the movies. I love that movie, you can just slide along. I don't remember the giant scorpions in the movies, but like I say, um, I can kind of imagine they would live on this planet. It's not taking too much of a liberty, like some of the other games do. I do like Shadows of the Empire, and that's, that's like one of the only expanded universe things I can really tolerate in relation to Star Wars. You can also do... Ooh, I don't remember that pink thing in the film either. 
Yeah, I think I was mentioning earlier, if you do this game on like a normal or hard mode, there's the cantina level or the Jawa Sandcrawler level in particular, um, if you die there, it gets really... If you die, there's like hardly... Because when you die, you lose your gun power-ups. And if you lose your gun power-ups there, you're pretty much screwed. It's like you have to restart the game. So, it's kind of broken, I think. And if you if you can do it, then you let me know. I'd like to see a video of it, just for the sake of it. So anyway, here's the Salak Pit monster. Shooting rocks at you. Where is he? Hello? And apparently you'll be digested over the course of a thousand years if um, this swallows you. So, um, you know, try not to get eaten. The lightsaber at the top is actually um, a health bar. That's the first level done. That was shorter than I remembered it to be. And now this next level, it uses the mode 7... Um, what's it? The mode 7 method, technique, whatever. And over here, hey, hey, help, please help. This C3PO, look. I am C3PO, human cyborg relations. Something terrible has happened. My counterpart, R2D2, has been captured by Jawas. We must find him. A lot of people hate these levels. They think it's really hard and everything. But it's not, even on hard mode, by the way, it's not just because I chose easy mode. All you've got to do is move left and right. You don't even have to go forwards. Move left and right, they spawn. You shoot them, that is it. You don't even have to do it. Look, my engine isn't even turned on. No, look, you don't even have to go forward. So I don't know why... Some people, this this stage ruins the game for some people, apparently. Because it's too hard, look. The sand crawler in the background is even getting bigger, and I'm not even driving anyway. So you just move left and right. View it like a Gallagher, or... Yeah, Gallagher, or Space Raiders, or something. Moving right. Here's another one. You have to kill so many Jawas before... You can, I mean, you can drive forever and you'll never get there. You have to kill so many enemies before it lets you um, go to the next stage. So, where's the next one? Maybe if I move forward a bit, somebody will appear. So I'll go forward a little bit. It appears there's actually... Oh, there's one. Triggered a spawn point for them. There's two stages like this in the level. You can do them really quickly. And they go head to this towards the sand and then you just fly up in the air to avoid everything. And that's the stage done. Why do people complain about that stage again? Does somebody want to remind me? There's actually a level like that in The Empire Strikes Back. Fuck. With some glitchy fucking character select screen there, but whatever. Outside of the sand crawler. Yeah, so we've we've gone towards the sand crawler, and as I was saying, there's a level like that in The Empire Strikes Back, where you're in an X wing. And I think that's actually more harder to do than that one I've just done there. I actually find the sand crawler levels to be quite annoying because it's so jumping based. If you fall down. You've got to climb all the way back up. Now I love this weapon, it's a seeker. So the bullet's just homing on the enemy. I really don't understand why the character select cheat thing's popping up. Because even if I put a cheat in to activate it, I've resetted the game. So it shouldn't actually be there, but whatever. If you hold up, actually, whilst you're shooting, you can do quite a high jump. Now, you might not remember this happening in the uh, film. Scaling the sand crawler, or even killing them like this, but... And if you notice, the music is actually um, based on the um, the movie. When the, sand, when the Jawas are selling the uh, droids to Luke's family. I haven't got oh there we go. I love New Hope actually. New Hope, the Empire Strikes Back. 
I mean, a lot of people think Return of Jedi is not that good compared to the others, and in a way, I'm kind of beginning to agree. Uh, I love the old Jabba part at the start, Jabba's palace, and I do like the end of it, but I don't know, some of it just does seem to drag. It's not even the Ewoks that are the problem, it's just the movie. Uh, I don't know, a little bit of it feels kind of like it drags on a bit. I wish there was a little bit more variety, because it's just like Jabba's palace at the desert, Endor, it doesn't seem like there's much else involved. So there you go, that's that level done. This next level is actually pretty tough. I hope I don't die. Inside the sand crawler. This is a pretty cool weapon too. Kill you. I'm not sure how long I'll make this video. Maybe I'll do this level and then I'll call it quits for this video. I don't like to make my videos too long because I don't think people are going to watch them for like over so long. Can't be to get like a gun. I love it, Luke. You've just infiltrated the sand crawler. Um, you're starting to slaughter, slaughter every jower. Just like the uh, stormtroopers doing the film, and um, you could actually just ask them if they want to sell you R two D two, because that is kind of what they do in the film. But if you want to kill them, entirely up to you. He's not training to be a Jedi yet, so I guess he's not really gonna be fall on doing the influence of the dark side or anything. You do actually get a lightsaber in the later in this game, and it's not very good actually. Probably not even worth using. But in the next two games, the lightsaber has been improved on a lot, and you can use force powers. I guess it's kind of good in a way that the lightsaber is not that good because, you know, you're still learning at this point. Secret for you people! There's a life up there or something. There we go. Luke. Gaunt droid there. This bit used to really piss me off when I was a kid. Them laser things, you've got to slide under them. But sometimes they just keep rebounding you back. Gonk. I love them gaunt droids. They were like my favourite. When I was like little, well actually even now, I just loved all the puppetry and all the different robot designs in Star Wars, the originals, and I used to just pause the tapes and try and look for all the different ones. I just found it fascinating. And then when the prequels came out, I don't know, most of it was CGI and a lot of the puppetry and I don't know, all that artistic side seemed to have vanished. It wasn't the same. I don't know why they've got them like spiky things in their own sand coiler. Contrary to popular belief, those sabers there are not actually lightsabers to use. They just they just increase your health bar for the Duration, is it for the duration, duration of the stage or what? I can't remember. Or is it for the old game? I think it's for the old game until you die. Now this is not in the film. And I don't know why it's in the sand crawler, but it is. And it's dead already. It's like a mini boss. Ooh, it's giving you lots of health so you know there's something ahead. This bit is absolutely annoying. Because this sand stuff here, like sometimes you can touch it, and you'll die instantly like that. That's why it's, and the jump mechanic's so crap in this game. I'm not even joking. You can press jump and it doesn't respond to like. Not where you freaking put shit. It doesn't respond until like. a few seconds later. And then, um. Sometimes you can land in the sand and you, you can jump out and you'd actually die straight away. It's like one of those screwed up parts of the game and one of the reasons why. Playing this game on hard mode is not particularly fun. And it's so hard to do a slide because you have to press down at an angle. It's a bit odd on a deep pad. As you can see, I'm not particularly bothered about being injured on easy mode. Yeah, 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 come on, I want to get this level done nice and quick. Yep. 
wondered how the stormtroopers actually like killed them in the movie, considering you know Jabba's apparently have all this kind of trap device in the all these trap devices and you know guns inside. They should have just stayed inside, shouldn't they? Really? I love it though. That sand can kill you, but spikes you can land on it and it doesn't. It? That's how I like to kill it. Maybe I should put some... Actually, you can just stand up here and shoot it. I seem to recall. Whoa! Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. I was being a bit cheeky then. No wonder I almost died. Well, that health means nothing if you touch this lava, though, doesn't it? Oh, I hate this bit. It makes me nervous. Now you have to fight a boss on these stupid little platforms. And it constantly tries to throw you in with these. This, I mean, look at this. How are you supposed to do this on hard moves anyway? How did I do it when I was about 10? I got the crappiest gun on here. Oh well. It's called Lava Beast Jabba Naked or something. Hmm. I wonder how they actually dreamed this thing up. It's not even in the films. Why would they have this in the sand crawler? I cut it onto the pattern like near the end. Oh, get stuffed. Come on, die, 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 die. There we go. There's R2D2. So I think we'll save it right there.